the more incredible the finding is. If the word is found, the code researcher then goes to the place in the Bible where the word is located. This area is called the grid or matrix. The grid is then carefully examined for other words that relate to the word found by the computer. We have three ELSs here, order, food, and roses. We have uh, equal distance between order every 10 letters, equal distance between food every 10 letters, and equal distance between roses every 11 letters backwards. And this is how we do all the searches in the computer, except we use Hebrew instead of English. Well, the rules are pretty flexible. You can actually start with any letter you like, and you can choose any gap you like. The main thing is that once you've chosen a particular number of letters to skip, you have to stick with that same number as you spell out the word. Sometimes it's a meaningful word or phrase, sometimes it's just gibberish. Lithuanian-born mathematician Eliyahu Rips is regarded by supporters as the modern-day discoverer of the Bible Code. In 1985, Rips, along with his team of researchers, developed a computer program to find hidden messages in the Bible. I learned about the code in the late 70s, the book from which we started to be aware of the existence of the code is a book which was published by the students of late Rabbi Weismandel. I immediately see that there is something very interesting which should be studied further. Picking up where Weismandel left off, Rips and his team began to work on a computer program that would essentially search for simple patterns locked within the Bible. They say results were immediate. At first, simple phrases began to appear. Then it became obvious to Rips that they had unlocked something potentially earth-shattering. Rips and his team conducted two detailed experiments and wrote a paper that would turn the scientific and religious worlds upside down. To test the code's validity, researchers listed the names of prominent rabbis in history, together with their dates of birth or death. Then they searched for them as ELSs in the Old Testament. The results were chilling and gave even stronger proof, supporters believe, of the code's existence. Both of those experiments really were groundbreaking. Uh, the rabbi's experiment was, with dates of death was published in Statistical Science. Statistical Science, one of the world's leading scientific journals, published the paper in 1994. It immediately ignited a firestorm of controversy. It was obviously an unusual paper, and uh, the obvious concern for all of us was that if we were to publish it, that could be interpreted as a stamp of scientific approval. And we were concerned because we didn't really want that uh, interpretation. According to Rips and his team, they had finally conquered the centuries-old challenge of finding a code in the Bible. But if it exists, what is the code trying to tell us? I keep seeing current news stories uh, appearing in statistically impossible combinations, as well as uh, patterns, or what I would call watermarks. If you want to tell if, if a dollar bill is real, you, you check the watermark on it. And we have found watermarks in the Torah. After Rip's work was published, researchers rushed to see what messages were locked inside. As researchers dug deeper, they say prediction after prediction was found from the Wright brothers' first flight to the recent SARS epidemic. Are these code findings in the Bible merely statistical anomalies, or is it more? Code researchers who have followed Rip's lead say they have found a multitude of fascinating word patterns within the Bible. Codes revealed words found near each other in the biblical text describing significant events that have shaped the course of history. We can do matrices every day on historical events where we know the facts and we can just look at the facts and, and develop the matrix. There are many stories of uh, Torah code researchers finding, happen, finding something by chance. That is, they were not doing an experiment, but they were looking at a table and they happened to have seen in the table some uh, for, different keywords. Some researchers say what the code reveals about world history 
is compelling. They have uncovered many historical names and events hidden within the Bible. The odds of finding these historical relationships, they say, exceed any mathematical possibility of chance. The Bible Code reveals Shakespeare and some of his greatest works in the code sequence Shakespeare, presented on stage, Macbeth, Hamlet. The advent of flight is uncovered by the Bible Code with the words Wright Brothers and Airplane found next to each other. Man's pioneering spirit can also be found in a code pattern that depicts Apollo 11's historic mission. In the code sequence, Man on Moon, Spaceship. The name of the legendary French emperor and significant events from his life are found within the same grid. Napoleon, France, Waterloo, Elba. The nature of this text is such that it encodes levels upon levels, layers upon layers of information. There's an infinitude, right, of meaning levels. Codes are but one of those infinite meanings. Names of many of the world's great scientists and the impact of their discoveries have also been found hidden within the Bible. Thomas Edison's discovery of electricity and his invention of the light bulb are found. Edison, electricity, light bulb, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which revolutionized modern science, was discovered in a grid which contained the words Einstein, science, and the complete phrase, he overturned present reality. Even the name of early code researcher Isaac Newton and his theory on gravity are found intersecting. Supporters say the code has also revealed social events that changed the course of history. The devastating economic and social impact of the stock market crash of 1929 can be seen with the phrases economic collapse, depression, stocks, next to the year 1929. The triumphs and tragedies of war are also found hidden in the ancient text. The birth of America with the words American Revolution and 1776. The downfall of the Tsars and the birth of communist Russia are found in the same grid with revolution in Russia, 1917. Perhaps the most compelling arguments for the Bible Code's existence are the hidden messages speaking to one of the most horrific events in modern history, World War II. There are many codes with Hitler. There's the code of Hitler a Nazi. Code supporters say the names of key figures and phrases are clearly outlined in a consistent pattern. The rise of Adolf Hitler can be found with the words Hitler, Nazi and enemy. Within the same grid the evil Hitler promulgated is also found with the added phrases evil man and slaughter. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor is found with the phrases, it will strike them, to destroy, to annihilate. In the same sequence, America's entry into the war was found, World War. According to proponents, the code even spells out with startling clarity, America's use of atomic weapons against Japan. The phrase, atomic holocaust and Japan occur in the same grid as the specific year 1945. Taken together, there's no way that this could be a randomly put together text. The 1963 assassination of John F. Kennedy and the mysterious circumstances surrounding his death are highlighted in three formations. The first is President Kennedy to die, Dallas. The second names Kennedy's assassin, Oswald. Marksman, name of assassin who will assassinate. Oswald's name is again present in a code sequence that depicts the events surrounding his death at the hands of Jack Ruby. Oswald, Ruby, and he will kill the assassin. The name of Robert Kennedy can be found in a grid next to his assassin, R.F. Kennedy, S. Sirhan. 
Within the same sequence, the code seems to suggest that Robert Kennedy would have become president of the United States in 1968 with the addition of the phrase, second ruler will be killed. They do not explain certain events that have actually been predicted before they occurred. The prediction that leading code proponents view as evidence of the code's validity was discovered by two different researchers, Moshe Katz and Michael Drosnin. It is the assassination of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. There were instances that the some future events were successfully predicted. The most famous case is the prediction or the warning of a, a Prime Minister Rabin assassination, which was given by Michael Drosnin. At the time that this occurred, uh, Yitzhak Rabin was the Prime Minister of Israel. In this case, they put in Yitzhak Rabin, and they saw the verse that talks about an assassin will assassinate, or a murderer will murder. And it occurred in very close proximity. They uh, both were alarmed and uh, sent letters to the uh, security people, to the prime minister's office, in the hopes that um, some extra precautions would, might be taken so that this event would not happen. But it did happen. Despite efforts to warn Rabin of an attempt on his life, Rabin was assassinated in 1995. But leading proponents of the code debate whether the code was a warning or simply a message of one of countless possible outcomes. It is a very basic question. We do not know whether it was a warning or it means that the things necessarily would happen this way, or maybe this is one of the possible variants of the future discussed in the Torah. One confident code researcher feeling that the prediction of the Rabin assassination dispelled any doubt of the code's prediction